Hello everyone, uh, today I want to show you how to simplify this nice algebraic expression without using the calculator. Uh, so if we have 4 to the power of 10 minus 4 to the power of 8, so we write this algebraic expression into the simplified form. So calculator not allowed means that we need to show all of the working on this paper. Uh, so I hope so you like this method. Uh, so if you have any other method in your mind, please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section. So first we need to focus in the basis of this uh, uh, expression. So uh, the basis of both of these terms are 4. So we write this 4 as 2 square and its whole power is 10 minus. We write this 4 as 2 square and its whole power is 10. And now we apply this exponent law if you have a to the power of m to the power of n it is equals to a to the power of m multiplied by n so according to this exponent law here uh, we multiply these two exponents and it will be written as 2 to the power of 2 times of 10 becomes 20 minus this is 2 to the power of 2 times of 8 becomes here 16 so now in the next step uh, we again break this 20 as 2 to the power of 16 plus 4 minus this is our 2 to the power of 16 and here we apply uh, again this exponent law if you have a to the power of m plus n it is equals to a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n so according to this exponent law we need to break this exponent and it will be written as 2 to the power of 16 multiplied by 2 to the power of 4 minus 2 to the power of 16. So further in the next step here we need to take common 2 to the power of 16. So when you take common 2 to the power of 16 we get the remaining values are 2 to the power of 4 minus 1. And here we know that 2 to the power of 4 is equals to 16. So we write so and also we break this 2 to the power of 16 as we write it as 2 to the power of 2 times of 8 and we write 2 to the power of 4 equals to 16 minus 1. And now here uh, in the next step uh, we uh, write this expression as 2 to the power of 8 and its whole square and this 16 minus 1 is equals to 5. So here 2 to the power of 8 square means that we multiply 2 to the power of 8 with 2 to the power of 8 and at the last we um, multiply the resulting answer with this 15. So here first our target is to find the value of 2 to the power of 8. So for this uh, yeah, I think so you very well know about the meaning of 2 to the power of 8 is that we need to multiply this 2 with 8 times. Okay so uh, here we multiply 2 with 8 times in this form. This is 2 multiplied by 2, 2, 4, 6 and 8. Okay. So here you see that 2 times of 2 becomes 4, 4 times of 2 becomes 8, 8 times of 2 becomes 16, 16 times of 2 becomes 32, 32 times of 2, 2 becomes 64, 64 times of 2 becomes 128, 128 times of 2 becomes 256. So finally we say that 2 to the power of 8 is equals to 256. So now we need to replace 2 to the power of 8 equals to 256. So uh, we replace this value on both of these places so that our this expression is written as in this form. Uh, so uh, first we put 2 to the power of 8 equals to 256 multiplied by 256 multiplied by 15. So further in the next step we need to break uh, this value and it will be written as this is 256. We write this 256 as 200 plus 50 and plus 6 and at the last we multiply it with this 15. So now we break this value and we multiply this 256 on each of these values and it will be written as 256 multiplied by 200 plus 256 multiplied by 50 and plus 256 multiplied by 6 and at the last our resulting answer is multiplied by 15. So now uh, we need to multiply these values. So here I can uh, give you a nice uh, smart method in which you can multiply easily these bigger numbers. So first we consider this is one digit number and this is three digits numbers. 
So when you multiply 0 with this number, we get 0. When we multiply this 0 with this number, you again get 0. When you multiply 2 with this number, we get 2, 6 is 12. We write 2 and carry 1. 2, 5 is 10. 10 plus 1 is 11. We write 1 and carry 1. 2, 2 is 4. 4 plus 1 is 5. And plus here again we apply the same method on this case so here we multiply 0 with this number you get 0 and we multiply 5 with this number you get 5 6 is 30 we write 0 and carry 3 5 5 is 25 25 plus 3 28 we write 8 and carry 2 5 2 is 10 10 plus 2 becomes 12 and plus we multiply 6 with this number you get here 6 6 is 36 we write 6 and carry 3 6 5 is a 30, 30 plus 3 becomes 33, we write 3 and carry 3, 6 to the 12, 12 plus 3 becomes 15. So uh, here now we first need to uh, sum up all of these values and at the last uh, we multiply the resulting answer with this 15. <clears throat> So uh, first we add this 0 plus 0 plus 6 is equals to 6 and 0 plus 0 plus 3 is equals to 3 and 2 plus 8 is 10, 10 plus 5 is 15, uh, we write 5 and carry 1, so 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 plus 1 is 4, 4 plus this one is 5 <clears throat> and at the last we have this is 5 plus 1 becomes 6, so you get here 6 double 5 and 3 6 <clears throat> and at the last we need to multiply uh, this number with uh, 15 so here we break this 15 as 10 plus 5 so now in the next step uh, here we need to multiply this number with 10 and this number with 5 as well so when you multiply this number with 10 you get here 6 double 5 3 6 and 0 and now we multiply this number with 5 so first we write this number as it is here and we multiply it with 5 and now here in the next step we first need to multiply this number with 5 so it will be written as first you have this is uh, 6 double 5 3 6 and 0 plus so here you have 5 6 a 30 we write uh, 0 and carry 3 5 3 is a 15 15 plus 3 is 18 we write 8 and carry 1 5 5 is a 25 25 plus 1 is 26 we write 6 and carry 2 5 5 is a 25 25 plus 2 27 we write 7 and carry 2 5 6 is a 30 30 plus 2 becomes here 32 and now in the next step uh, we need to sum up these two values and here you have this is 0 plus 0 becomes 0 and 6 plus 8 becomes 14 and we write 4 and carry 1 so 3 plus 6 becomes 9 9 plus 1 is 10 we write 0 and carry 1 so you have 5 plus 7 and 5 plus 7 becomes 12 12 plus 1 is 13 we write 3 and carry 1 so this 5 plus 2 is 7 7 plus 1 is 8 and at the last we have 6 plus 3 becomes here 9. So this is the our final answer of this problem. And thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.